Hello, YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. Want? 0.5 patch review we just got the new class luna the descendant luna that i myself have been eagerly waiting to play and get my little hands on and hearing about music and her her whole like aesthetic is up right up my alley i love her aesthetic volby ultimate volby came out um and where you, and how you can grind her and how long does it take um patch bugs and breaks and this and that you're gonna get all the scoop here in this video so 1.0.5 luna let's start with that one what a major heaping pile of dookie luna has been the worst character that i have ever played in any video game ever just absolutely trash now don't get me wrong if you manage to convince yourself that the class is good Hey, by all means, do what you got to do. Play it if that's what you want to do. But the class does not feel good in this universe. The gameplay is so stupid. It doesn't, it's a mini game within a mini game within a mini game layers of just dookie. The class is not fun to play. Maybe there's some fucking artistic ass fucking acoustic bastard across the street that really loves the class. And congratulations, you're the minority. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to find a hard people, uh, it's going to be really hard to find a lot of people that actually like this class. It is just not it, Chief. It's not it. And I'm not talking about its performance, which might be really exceptional. She might have the biggest, baddest buffs. But honestly, if it comes at the sacrifice of that gameplay, I don't want it. Take it back. I would prefer much like a simple... You could call me a simpleton all you want. Ellie doesn't play skilled-based classes. I don't care. I don't really care. Give me something brain dead, turn off, switch on, off for speed buffs, for buffs, for healing like Lucio. That would have been really good. As a matter of fact, let's not act like your original concepts in this game. A lot of the stuff has already been copied and pasted from other games. Why don't we just copy the better one, Lucio? That would have been so easy. I, I, I respect that you're trying to be creative, Nexon. I love you, but that ain't it. That was a flop back to the drawing board with luna Be a very beautiful class don't get me wrong i love the whole aesthetic the music thing i love it uh but yeah it didn't it didn't work uh ultimate volby wherever there was a negativity there with luna is definitely fixed with ultimate volby ultimate volby grind spots are some of the easiest grind spots in the game right now you can literally grind out ultimate volby within one sitting I'd be surprised if anybody takes longer than 200 dungeons to, to get one piece. It is very simple to grind Ultimate Bobby, the easiest class to grind in the game so far, and Ultimate Descendant at least, and I think that's a, that's a win. That's a win-win. I kind of really, speaking of Ultimate Bobby, it's a really interesting decision that they decided to add two bathing suits to the game. Uh, which are fucking immaculate, by the way. Really great swimsuits for Viesa and um, Volby. But I don't understand the Volby one. You release an ultimate descendant with two new badass skins, but then you release a bathing suit for the class that you just released with awesome skins already. To me, it makes like no sense. Like that could have been better for another class instead of the new re-release class with already new skins in the game. It's just a little bit of weird decision for me. Um, I would much rather see this outfit, a bathing suit on something like Sharon, um, which has gotten no love from the game. By the way, every other descendant, even the male descendants at this point have gotten a lot of love. Where is Sharon's love? Sharon is like no, ba no made outfit, no fr fr freaking nothing, just, no, no love she's like one of the most hated descendants in the game and i don't even play the class i think the class is trash from my perspective i mean my game um my game style play style i don't really like it but i mean i'm just calling it how i see it the class has gotten no love but um aside from that i think the whole volby um ultimate descendant grind is a win pretty damn easy I was a little worried of how are they going to incorporate the, the new materials into the game. Speaking of new materials, the final boss. The new boss they just added. In case you guys were wondering, oh my god, every game, every boss, everything is trivialized. It's so easy. The in-game, well, 
I hope that developers shove their fat penis up your mouth with this one because it definitely isn't a pushover. You can't just blast in there with four Lepics and kill it within 10 seconds. So I guess that would kind of would would you know satisfy the more hardcore players i can almost guarantee you though that this will not stay this way i would be really surprised <coughs> if this final boss stays at this difficulty um first of all the crit from lepic is useless in that fight if you take a lepic in there you're like going to see one crit it's like his crit resistance towards lepic is extremely high um, they're probably going to come back later and say, oh my god, we made a mistake, there was a bug, and um, it, it, the, the boss is not taking critical hits like he should be. Um, which I'm totally fine by if they keep the boss difficult like this at the first two weeks and then come later on and say, oh, sorry, we overtuned it, he are some nerfs, which I do think will happen. And I don't think because I can't clear it or because it's tough for me, because again, I roll with the big dogs, I clear content as it comes out, I am, I'm there rolling in the, you know, in the mud um, with, with the hardcore players, but this is not something that would phase well with the more casual and the more average player when you need to run this repeated repeatedly for certain um modules that are locked behind here and a gun that locks this a set that is locked behind here where there is um it's not trivialized content i really doubt that the boss is going to stay this way but i mean if it stays i'm okay with it if it doesn't i'm okay with it as well i just know that right now is great because it just released give the hardcore players something to strive for and have fun with but i think it will be headed to nerf town later in the future for sure or some uh, like make made up oh we made this bug let's fix it situation so overall 1.0.5 was middle of the road for me i'm kind of I, I love this the from the cosmetics standpoint it was a win just straight win volby win everything was a win from that point luna trash um the new boss meh not too bad it's a reskin of devour they could have done better there but eh um I really want to test out the new weapon and hopefully I get to have my hands on the new weapon so I could test it out. Um, what else? Um, it released with a couple of bugs. Like they completely crapped out a, a grind spot in the game, especially when there's bunny reactors to farm behind it. Um, that spot is not available to grind because there's only three monsters. They've already put out uh, a post saying that they're going to do an em emergency maintenance tomorrow. Um, so that's good. We're getting a hot fix patch like the next day, which really makes me happy. That's very good. That means the developers are not just sitting on their asses and being lazy. They're giving us stuff. Um, and on the, to summarize this, sorry, one last bit. The best thing about this patch was the patch notes where they did talk about season one and season two and things they plan to incorporate in the game, including uh, in quotations, pity like system or a system that makes it easier for people that are having a hard time getting certain things and if people that have ran things and they have so an abundance of materials they are planning to incorporate a system where you could trade some of these excesses excess materials for something else which to me is a win-win and something that i talked about and i'm glad they're taking my ideas and as far as taking my ideas chat and YouTube, how about you hit comment, like, and subscribe down there. And um, next on, take my next idea. Let's let's make Luna better, okay? Take away the mini game. Okay, okay, that's it, everybody. I'll see you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you viewers like you by hitting the comment like and subscription button you help me really 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 a bunch more than you ever know you could even put it on mute and walk away you know or lower the volume and walk away but all the success of this channel relies on you and i'm very thankful if you hit that comment like and subscription button also follow my social medias twitter my twitter i put out new art and new stuff if you want to see more of this 
Follow me everywhere. Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.